yeah good morning good morning everybody Lindsay Malopa again here now guys today uh we are going to do what we call market overview i'm going to show you steps and the basics on how to identify or what to do when you get to the markets or when you get to a chart and you want to understand what is going to happen for that week uh, so we're going to do what we call market overview. Usually we do this on the charts, uh, but right now I want to do it on the whiteboard because I want you to see the basics. I want you to get confused when you see the candlesticks. I want you to look at the basics, right? So uh, let's go ahead. I want to show you something. So first thing first, when you get into the chart, right? The first thing that you got to do, I always say you must use what you call H4. H4 is your time frame, right? As your time free so you must use h4 as your time frame so when you get to the chart already you already know what time frame you are going to use right so when you get to the time frame of h4 you are going to look at something like let's say an example you are going to look at something like uh maybe you see a double top uh, with some few uh drops right and then you can see and this is a double top because there's got those two tops, right? This is what you see when you get to that four hour time frame. You know that this is history. This is history. And this is future. So it means that everything that is be, uh, beyond this going forward, this is the future. Everything that is that side, this is the past. So everything that has happened this side is what is the past. This is the past. So we study the past to predict what's gonna happen in the future. So uh, guys, this is uh, this is uh, this is it. So I just said to take everything this side and uh, yeah. So this we are just continuing where we left off. Uh, sorry about that. We got cut. Anyways, uh, as you can see, this is history. So everything that happens. Uh, everything that happens, let me just put it like this. Everything that happens uh, like that, that you can see, is past. Everything that you don't see is the future. So when you are trying to analyze using this for our time frame, you are trying to identify what's going to happen in the future. Let's say, so, so, so now we're doing what we call market overview, right? So it means this was last week. It means this was last week. This is what happened last week. We want to try and identify what's going to happen this week. Right? So we've got several uh, 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 equipment that we already have. We know that when you see a W, this is a, a, this is a, a W bottom. When you see an M, this is a double top, which we already see here. So it's a sign of a sign. We're going to talk about that. When you see a reversal head and shoulder, it means you can see a shoulder and a shoulder and a head, right? This is a sign of what? Of a, a buy. When you see a, a head and shoulder like that, it's a what? It's an, a, a sign of a sign. So I'm going to divide them like this. This is what? This is for a buy. This is a, a sell. So we already know that when we see one of these two, we, we are expecting to buy. When you see one of these two, we are expecting to sell. So an example, this one, it's this one. This is why the market sold here. This is why the market sold. It went down, as you can see. So this is a basic knowledge that we have on this market overview. So as you can see, when the market gets to this point, uh, this week now, it creates something like this. What do we see? We see a double bottom, which is which is this. So we already know that we are expecting to buy here. We are expecting to buy. So when you buy, the market continues like that, going on the upside and we are in profit. We're in profit, as you can see. So this is what, uh, these are the basics that you need as a trader, right? So right now, I want us to give you, I want to show you another example. It doesn't have to be that. It can be 
a, a lot of things. Now, also this can happen. The market can just decide to go up. Look at that. What do you see? It created this thing. You see? A head and shoulder. That, now, this means what? Let me just raise this. This means the market will still want to continue going on the downside. This is this is normal as well. It happens. This kind of things happen. So you don't have to like um, be skeptical and look at one thing. So many possibilities that can happen in the future. So many. That's the, that's why it's called future. We don't know what's going to happen, but uh, we, we we shall just try and predict. But but we know that we are guided by these things. You know, are guided by this thing. So that being said, I want us to focus on another thing as well. Let me just show you this. Let me show you this. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me show you the use, the use of stop loss and take profit. The use of stop loss. And take profit. Can you guys see? Can you guys see? Yeah, you guys can see. The use of a stop loss and take profit. So when you see an M, so uh, as you guys can see, these two, they show us a what? They show us that the market wants to what? Wants to say, right? It wants to say. These two, they show us that the market wants to buy. I've already discussed that. So, but I want to show you something. When you buy or sell, you buy or sell on the last leg. It means this is our last leg. This one is our last leg. This is our last leg. This is our last leg. This is our last leg. Why? Because the market is going that direction. So those are our last leg. So it means here is where you're going to sell. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You sell. Correct. What are you doing here? Here, you buy. Correct. And here, you buy. Correct. Now, when you do these things, you must be able to identify your what? Your stop loss and your take profit. Your stop loss is, needs, needs to be, when you're, side, when you're selling, it needs, to, it needs to be above your entry point. Not entry point. Uh, what do you call this? Um, it needs to be above your, your signal. So already a signal was the fact that you saw double, double, double tops. So you need to put your stop loss somewhere here. Your signal was that you saw it at double bottom. So you need to put your stop loss below there. Here, it needs to be above the head. Stop loss below the head. This is what we call a safe zone. These are our stop losses. Safe zones. These kind of things, guys, these are the kind of things that you are going to need as a trader to uh, like have as your basics to be able to understand what you are what you're doing. And it shows that you understand what you are doing. So guys, I am going to I'm going to be patient with you because I want you to get everything that I'm, I'm showing you here. So let me just erase this. I, I hope you're taking a screenshot. I'm erasing everything here. Right. So guys, we're back again. We're back again. So uh, I want you guys to dwell much into something. Uh, something here. It's called what we call risk reward ratio. We're going to make the money now. This is why a lot of People that are coming from better families or those that have got uh, um, uh, money, a lot of money, they are going to make money from Forex, even though they don't understand exactly what they are doing. They don't have a proper strategy. But because they understand what is behind me, they are going to make money. Come, I want to show you something. Here's a trader who have 100,000 rent. They just call this trader, trader now, A. Now, trader B has only 100 rand, trader A has 100,000. Now, because 
Trader A understands risk reward ratio, but Trader B has all the strategies uh, and he even understands risk reward ratio. He understands uh, everything, but then he doesn't have enough money. Let me show you what was the danger. Let me show you what's the danger. Now, they both open a position for 0 0.01. This one opens a position for 0 0.01 as well. Now the risk reward ratio for both traders is 1 is 2, 10. Meaning they are making 10 times more than what they've risked. So they've risked, let's say, um, stop loss of 10 pips. This one is a risk of stop loss of 10 pips. When it moves to a stop loss, this one is going to lose how much? It's going to lose one dollar. This one is going to lose how much? It's going to lose one dollar. But if you can look at the risk, right, this one, the risk that, uh, that was involved, it was 0 0.00001. This was the risk. So there was no way he was going to blow his account. But this one, the risk, it was how much? The risk, it was how much? For this one, the risk was 1%. So can you see that the level of risk uh, percent? The level of risk both in, in both account, it was actually not the same. It was actually not the same. So if this one uh, loses 0.0001%, this is like there is no movement in that account. But this one already, there is movement because it will be left with how much? 99 rands you understand so if he, if, if, if he trades 100 trades 100 trades his account is gone i could have shown you with any any kind of account this one needs to it needs to trade how many times he needs to trade 1 million times trades to blow this account which is impossible you can't blow, you can't trade the one million trades. You can't, you can't. So it's impossible. So you need to understand the risk reward ratio. It's very important to understand the risk reward ratio, guys, because now the bigger that your account and you, you, you don't increase your lot sizes, you stick to the minimum lot size, then your account is safe. If you understand how, how to trade like this, then you are, you, you are safe. To trade like this is a bit risky. To trade like this is safe. This is what we call risk reward ratio, understanding the risk involved in a trade. I hope you guys took the screenshots. If you have these materials, because I'm telling you, you are not going to lose a trade. You are not going to lose a trade or lose in trading. Let me not say you are not going to lose a trade, but you are not going to lose in trading. Market overview. That this is best information that I've always needed when I was starting out to trade. When you have this kind of information, you are not going to lose, guys. You are not going to lose at the end of the day. You are going to make profits. And this is why I know that you guys need this information because I needed this information when I was starting out in Forex trading. Guys, if you are new in this channel, do yourself a favor. Click that subscribe button down below on your screen and I'll be there to assist you. Remember, all you need is to have the right equipment and the right equipment, you can get them in this channel. Click that subscribe button. Every time I drop new videos, you'll be updated. Thank you very again here from me to you. It's all peace and love. See you on the next one. Cheers.